Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 4. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we were flung all the way from over on the east side of the map over to the Ice Peak, where we are currently about to enter the town of Czech. Not very far from Windia when you actually look at the map, but you know what? Ain't gonna bother me. Well, this place looks tiny. We don't get many visitors here. Most people don't even know this village exists. Something very important must be happening in the outside world, or about to happen. Ominous. Thanks for that. Why is this place filled with children? The gods are referred to it as the Endless. This is not. B this is because they do not change with the passing of years, nor do they die. Thanks for that info. Humans are called they who pass, because they are mortal, meaning they change with time, grow older, and eventually die. That's... Why are all these children talking That's so weird? you know the secret of this village? No. Since the beginning of the world, we have preserved the secrets of the spell of evocation, the knowledge of how to summon gods. Are these because of their proximity and the amount of times that they've been summoning people? Also... Immortal. Hmm. And perpetually children. Can I help you? Yes! I want to buy stuff. Uh, bastard sword, window race. Okay. Oh, I can buy all the as asbestos armor for everyone. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Put this asbest asbestos on your body. See how that works out for us. I'm going to presume that it provides some sort of fire resistance, but that might just be me. There's all status of abilities restore status of one targets. Uh, yeah. Anemonia. Because I'm paranoid. Even if it does have a ch chance of being just suck. This is the Abbas's home. I think I'm good with not talking to her just yet. Gotta talk to a couple of people on the outside. What? Why are there only children here, I ask? Well, we're not all children, you know. Called it. Calling it. Calling it now. They say everyone who lives here has a special power. They say they can summon the gods. A pretty... Pretty big, mighty, impressive power, if you ask me. Uh, let's try here first. Oh, hello. <gasps> Nightum. Arum. Not like I don't have like a billion of those yet. We don't get many travelers here, so I got nothing fancy. Still, you can stay if you want. Yes. One of our party members has a temporary reduction of HP, so yeah. I can't check the cabinet. This game, compared to the compared to Breath of Fire 3, this game has a severe amount lack of uh Oh, hello. Person. The village called, called Czech. That means holy place in the ancient tongue. I kind of want to look at this mural, but I really no solid looking direction at it. But yeah, there's a lack of uh, shelves and whatnot to check out in here compared to the Breath of Fire 3. Why, you're the Yore Dragon, aren't you? Which god has guided your path to our humble village? The wind dragon said that we should come here. Ong Ryong told you to come here. That would mean you must be from Windia, yes? Oh, I'm sorry. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Oh, I can see you just fine. I just can't tell what you look like, that's all. I know that might not make much sense. But I'll try to explain it. You see, each of us has a powerful force inside of us. Those attuned to it can see it. To us, it looks like a pillar of shining light. Each person's light is different. Its color, size, the way it glows, all these depend on the person.
This pillar is each person's life stream, the path their life will take, their life force itself. When people come together, their streams intermingle, join together, and that in turn creates another new stream. Now, the stream of one of the Endless is very large, very powerful. So powerful it can affect the stream of the world itself. Any stream that gets close to such a large and powerful stream gets caught up in it, affected by it, changing its original direction. The largest of these streams, the one that can affect all the others, these are what we call gods. Some of what you said we already know. What we want to know is, what should we do now? Well... I think perhaps that once you understand where the gods w understood where the gods where the gods came from and their place in the world, that question will answer itself. But now, however, you should rest. You must be tired from your long journey. We will talk again later. Yay, a little bit of rest noise. Yeah, I'd be kind of confused too, buddy. Literally the only one in the party. That has me worried. Check the... Nothing here. Damn it. Damn it. There he is. I didn't want the others to hear me, so I had them sleep. Here, in your dreams, we can talk openly. I know what you are. You can't hide it from me. I know you are one of the Endless. The, re the real question is, who are you and where did you come from? For centuries, we here in the village have summoned gods, summoned the Endless to this world. Fong Ryong, the Wind Dragon. Ni Ryong, the Mud Dragon. Dao Ryong, the Sand Dragon. It was we who brought them here. But you... You are different. You were not summoned by us. What are you? Who brought you here? Darius does not know the question, answer to that question himself. That is what Urshan says. What? But, but how? You... Are you also one of the Endless? No, Urshan is Urshan. I can sense your aura. It is a god's, but it's weak. Like it's somehow been dampened somehow. Are you sealed within that armor? Yes, that is why Urshan says to let her out now. <laughs> it would appear I laughed at an inappropriate time. stuff always gets a little wiggy. We're actually awake now, right? Everyone's still out of the party. My chance to gain all the experience. Priorities, I have them. But Cray, you mean you're going to trade Darius to get Elena back? I didn't say that. All I mean is, we got people talking about gods and changing the world and stuff. It's too big for me to understand, for any of us. And it's not like we can all stay together forever, right? What were you thinking? Well, I was thinking that since Darius has no place to go, once we find my sister, maybe we could take him back with us. Good morning, Darius. That woman said she, we should go see her once we you woke up. Well, you're up, so let's get going. Oh, someone's a grumpy Gus. Everyone, no, just three of us. All right. 
Where'd she go? You know, the, I do now, but you can tell us again, I guess. Hey, size. Like they're going to do something. I thought we were going to talk about what we should do next. What's up with Urshan? It would appear your fr you all have a stronger connection to the Endless than you believed. Urshan here has something in common with Darius. They're both one of the Endless. You mean Urshan is also a, a god? I've never seen anything like this myself. That's why I wanted to release Urshan. Maybe then we can learn about what's occurred. Release? You mean Urshan's trapped inside that armor? It would appear to be so. At least that's what she says. Will you help me free her, Darius? Place your hands on Urshan. Close your eyes. Reach out and touch Urchin's mind. Can you hear me? You are now inside Urchin's mind. If you want to come back to the waking world, just come back to this place and enter the light. The real Urshan, the one that's been locked inside the armor, should be somewhere in the heart of the dream world you're in now. If you can find her, you should be able to free her. Good luck. Ah, heck. Well, I also saw that arm- that, uh... Is it armor? I don't know. We shall see once we get over there. Any threats in this world? I'd imagine. Something like Psychonauts. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that there wouldn't be... Okay, you are new. Uses AP stealing attacks on its enemies, but has no physical attack. Oh. Well, I hate you. So why don't we kill you as soon as possible, please? Once again, we are down a party member being Urshan. I don't approve of this. Urshan's one of my favorite really, characters. So. Ow, who am I saying? What am, what am I saying? I'm pretty partial to pretty much all of these characters, if I'm to be completely honest. Oh. Water ward. Neat. An anti-water thing. We just need lightning and other ones. I forget what other elements there are actually in this game. Especially seen as lightning appears... To oh, jeez. Do not remember that background. Oh, I don't like this. I'm... Gonna guess not on this one, but on this one. Up. Uh, am I supposed to make this jump? Jump forward? The crystal. No, I don't want you to stop there. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. That's a dead end. Have it go up. Continue rotating. Stop it here. There we go. Aha! I are smirt. Oh, this doesn't look terrible. As you can see, I'm trapped here. I'd really appreciate it if you could get me out of here. Um, are you Urshan? Who else do you think it could be? Of course I am. Now get rid of those pillars and get me out of here. Alright. Shouldn't be much of a trouble. They're Giant pillars, how bad could this possibly be? Oh, a boss fight, that's how bad it could be. Fire spirit that uses wind and suppresses water. A wind spirit that suppresses that uses water and suppresses earth. 
a water spirit that uses earth and suppresses fire, an earth spirit that uses fire and suppresses wind. Where's heart? I'm gonna shut up now. Uh, let's go ahead and take Aura Form. See if that helps in the slightest. Let's see. Uses wind. Wind, water, earth. So wait. Water Spirit uses earth, but suppresses fire. An earth spirit that uses fire, but suppresses wind. I've gone cross-eyed. I'm just gonna slap him. Probably not the best tough tactics, but god damn it, I have no clue what the hell to actually use against any of these guys. That now since I'm getting the high amounts of AP, you know what? I'm gonna look for any and all excuses to turn into a dragon. Well. That solves that puzzle. Really? That's the attack you're going with? Okay, rock blast. That's probably gonna hurt. Eh. I've been injured more deeply. I'd like to. Ah, there we go. I was just about to say, I would like to counter, please. So with this, Prey is still able to smash one of them while the rest of the party deals with the uh, remaining, I guess. God damn it. Did I just break the game? I feel like I broke the game. Oh well. 10,000? Jesus. Nina levels up. Tyus levels up and learns rejuvenate. Doing it? Alright. Whoa. Okay. Thanks for all the wards. Finally! I thought I'd never get out of there. First, let me thank you for helping me. There's still one little problem, though. You see, well, I don't have my body. That means I can't leave here. That's why I want you to find me a medium who can loan me a body, okay? Don't worry, this is where they summon gods and whatnot. There's bound to be lots of mediums around. Remember, once you get back out, you need to find me a medium. Oh, and try to find a good-looking one for him if you can, okay? Well, you're already insufferable. <laughs> Who knew, right? That urchin might be a little bit of a... I don't know. Picky with her choices, I guess, would be a good word for it. I could not have met with all the... Well, okay, I've... Honestly, completely forgot that Cray has the Holy Mantle equipped, so... Is this seriously how we're going to spend our, our day? Trying to... Trying to find a medium for a god who is... Probably... Oh, hey. Gulpers. Knows many spells, but doesn't seem to have enough AP for them. I feel like that that's a trap. Like, if I were to go and heal them and give them their AP back, they'd end up, uh... Completely destroying me. Yeah, no, that's that's death. And they steal AP with leech power. Hopefully death does not only cost 4 AP. Fire Blast. Ow. Yeah, ow. Well, at least... Was that the one that had... Drained the AP? God, I hope it was. 
And pull. Damn. That's all the experience from this time around. Jesus. Yeah, it's at that point where it's just like, why even give Kray, uh, magic? Dude is just so not magic -y. Hey, that's... If Kray, or if Urshin gets back in the party, that's going to be three party members that end up with, uh, 1,000 HP. I have called for a medium, as was requested. Abyss, I'm ready. Rem is the strongest medium in the village. Hello, the Abyss has told me what's happened. I'll help you as best as I can. Alright then, Rem, sit down in front of Urshin. You should make contact with the Endless any moment. I was hoping for a better body than this. Oh well, I guess we'll have to do. Rem, or rather, Urshin. Can you tell us about you and about Darius? What are you two... What are the two of you doing together? Hey, wait just a minute. I've been cooped up in that armor forever. I'd like to relax for a while, okay? How about giving me some food and drink? Is this any way to treat such an important guest? Where are your manners? You be resting there now. I'll bring you over some food in just a second. Oh, my. Sorry about that. Got a little smoky there, didn't it? The oven ain't what it used to be, I'm afraid. It's like Urshan is a completely different person outside the armor. Well, can you blame her? I mean, being stuck in that armor for so long. I wonder if Urshan has finished eating yet. Should go check and see. I'm uh, uh, do we have to? <laughs> uh, I guess we should. I guess she's gonna be in this one? Or the Abbas's house. Nope. Other one it is. Where uh, Rem go by earlier wearing her ritual robes. Is there a ceremony? Yeah, it's getting something like that. Like she's a completely different person afterwards. Did the food meet your satisfaction, Urshin? Look, you wanted to talk to a god, right? If you ask me, this comes with the territory. Every god needs an offering or two, right? Uh, very well then. Now, will you tell us about Darius and Urshin? Alright. Darius and I are not human. We are endless. Now, who here knows what that means? How about you, little birdie? Do you know? Um, well, that means you were summoned here. And you're what other people call dragons or gods, right? Well, I'll be. You do know. Not bad, my little chickadee.
We are called summoned for a we are called summoned from other worlds and brought here. But do you know why we are called? Well, do you, kitty? Alright then, imagine a world as a giant ship. What happens to the ship if there's no wind? Um, ship can't move. Very good. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Anyways, we're like that wind. We move the world. Now, imagine what you could do if you could control that wind as you pleased. Hmm? That's why we have kept this village's location and what we know a secret. Were the ability to summon the Endless fall into the wrong hands, it would be disastrous. Whoever can control the dragons can control the world. Which is why I need to know who betrayed our secret. Who summoned the two of you? We were summoned by the Foul Empire. The Empire knows the spell of evocation? Not exactly. The Empire has come up with its own method of summoning. That's how Darius and I got here, but it's not perfect. They brought us here, but we were incomplete. I wasn't able to manifest completely and got stuck in that armor. As for Darius, he was split into two by his summoning. Holy shit, it's been forever. God, what the hell we got going on with him? Uh-huh. Vitamins. Ambrosia. Yeah, the Ambrosia allows you to restore all your dragons to full HP. They cannot be healed with basic healing stuff. And they all have their own HP. So, you know, the Meditate form allows you to transform into their separate forms and whatnot. Sorry, just looking back through his stuff, I forget exactly what the hell's been going on. Ooh. You know, this would be helpful. Seeing as he is... Oh, but status effects. Yeah, status effects are worse. Well. As much as I enjoy the idea of playing as Fao Lu at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and save and call an episode. Because this is going to be a whole thing all on its own, I can just tell. When we return, let's see what Fowlu is doing in this little backwaters town in the middle of God knows where. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am enjoying playing it. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.